Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to another Leagues video. And in the last video, we finally obtained the Zarite crossbow. And in this video, the plan is simple. Keep climbing the leaderboards, keep getting the Leagues points. We are currently ranked 400 and I haven't been focusing on points at all these Leagues. And I think in this episode, it is time to start climbing the ladder and start competing for some of the highest ranks in this league. Now, luckily, some of the items that I'm really trying to get are also items that are going to give me a lot of points and also items that are PVM related. So this episode should be interesting. Let's jump right into it. Continuing where we left off, we are going to be doing some Cerberus. I obtained every single drop from this boss aside from Pet and the Jar. Jar would be huge, easy to 100 points straight away, but obviously quite hard to get. And the reason I'm still killing the boss is simply because I need to get 300 kill count, because that is going to be extra points for our account. The boss is very simple to kill, only takes about a minute or so, and I don't use any supplies doing it, so this should be an absolute breeze. I have 44 left on the task, let's see if we get any more drops. My first crystal dupe is a primordial crystal, 28 million, we don't really have a use for it, but we'll take it, 147 KC. And there it is, 150 Cerberus defeated for a nice 80 points, obviously gonna finish the task here, only have 12 left. And it also completes all the Cerberus achievement diaries, uh, combat diaries, whatever they're called. And I got a smoldering stone, nice, thank you, right, uh, this is probably the best dupe I can get, because I can use that on my axe to make sure I start uh, burning my logs, or I guess I could use it on a pickaxe as well. Just to put everybody up to speed, what we're doing right now is we're hunting superiors as well. So 150 Abbey Demons is gonna be a bit of a lengthy one. But before we continue on with the video, today's video is sponsored by Dungeon Hunter 6. Dungeon Hunter 6 is the latest addition to the beloved hack and slash franchise, meaning you can expect fast-paced action, build up your characters with unique skills, and you can fight mighty bosses. The game offers both PvP and PvE modes, including multiplayer guild raids and real-time guild wars. On top of that, the game is absolutely free to play, so you can download it by using my link in the description, or you can scan the QR code on screen if you are viewing this on PC. But let me quickly tell you more about the game. Firstly, Dragon Hunter 6 offers a premium casual MMO experience on mobile, meaning you can see a ton of units on the screen with stunning animation optimized for multicasting, so you can basically enjoy fast-paced, smooth gameplay. Secondly, you can make the bosses serve you, so you can loot and ride the bosses, but you can also summon up to three of them onto the battlefield to fight for your squad and follow you everywhere. Lastly, I would like you to check out this major update they are planning for the holiday season. They just released the latest Shaman class, so you can be one of the first groups to try it out. But there are six classes and over 100 unique bosses to conquer and explore. So there is a lot more that I could talk about here, including the fact that you can trade your items via the auction system, you can create your own unique builds. But honestly, I think it is better if you just go ahead and download the game for free on both Android and iOS. You can simply use my link in the description, or you can scan the QR code if you're watching this on PC. As always, thank you once again to Dungeon Hunter 6 for supporting the channel, and let's get back into the video. Here we have a Greater Abyssal Demon. We're hoping for Eternal Crystal, that's 200 points we still don't have, but this one drops us nothing. Another superior? Okay, nothing from that. We're getting pretty close to 50 superiors here. A little whip. Alright, here's another superior, and we don't get it. Another whip. Yoink. All right, back to Cerberus. Let's see if we... Well, I don't need anything, so just a kill count task. Here's the third Prim Crystal. Last kill of the trip, there's 250 Cerberus defeated. We just need 50 more, so the next task we're gonna be fully done with this boss. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and send some TOA runs with a very old friend of mine. We're probably only gonna do 300s, uh, just some chill gaming. And uh, we see if we get lucky. Obviously, we need Mazori Chaps, that would be 400 points. We need Osmo 10 Fang, that would be 600 points for an Osmo 10 Fang, actually, because I also have the kit. And if I get the shield, that's also points. So I have a lot of points in TOA. Obviously, if we are doing 300s, it's gonna be, I think, half the chance to see a purple. But let's just send it. Let's see how it goes. How many total points you have? I have 22k. 14. Okay, this is mine. Bro, it's white. Dude, why are we doing 300s, man? This is bullshit. Oh, I see VA, bro. I see VA. I don't know if we can even get it with the dying. It is purple. Who gets it? It's yours, you scammer. The fuck? 
You're gonna get a fang as well because I need it. It's usually 600 points for free. Hey, grats on the ring, buddy. <laughs> okay. Coconut milk, huge. Back to Abyssal Demons for a bit. Let's see if we get more superiors. A little whip. Here's another superior, hoping for Eternal Gem. That would be the easiest 200 points we would ever see. But instead we get a whip and a does battle stuff. I do believe I already have two of those. Another whip. I think it's like number 12 or so. It is always so hard to distinguish between greater superior demons and just regular demons. This one almost killed me, but let's see what he drops. Just a rune chain body, nothing too fancy. But this is one of those where I didn't even know this was a task. We just completed 50 slayer tasks. Beautiful. We just got 77 hellhounds and you know what that means? It is time to completely finish Cerberus. So if we quickly take a look, we have 250. We just need to kill 50 and then we are fully completed with that boss. Bada beam, bada boom, 10 kills to go, and we get another primordial crystal. I, honestly, if I was a main account, I'd be a happy boy right now. All of my crystals are primordial crystals, and those are the biggest money. Unfortunately, it's leaks and it's completely useless. And there it is, 300 Cerberus completed, that's 200 points, and that is this boss completely done. Now, this is an interesting task, Greater Demons. There is a task I want to go for, which is equip every God Sword. And I'm lucky to have the next God Sword, Sara God Sword, and Bandos God Sword already obtained. I'm missing Arma, I'm missing Zami, but I'm also missing Staff of the Dead. So let's go ahead and use this opportunity to train Slayer and also do Zami at the same time. We're going to be starting on 101 KC, and let's see how long it takes to get Staff of the Dead or. Gods or the hilt or both actually. Here's the first steam battle staff. We are 24 kills in first drop I'm chomping on my food right now. Here's a Zami spear. Unfortunately, we already have it 133 KC. We keep it going. The kills are very quick. KC 141. We got another Zami spear. Let me try not to die here real quick I think I might die Whoa. We good a few kills later. We got another Zami spear. Come on now. Give me something else. I don't need spears Here's another steam battle staff. Getting a lot of the drops, but all of them are unfortunately wrong. Here's another steam battle staff. Uh, getting a lot of these. We are 151kc. Task is almost done, but I'm gonna keep going even after task. I do believe with everything I plan on doing this league, it shouldn't be a problem to do 50 million Slayer XP. So, I don't really benefit from being on the task, aside from actually gaining the XP. So, let's just stay here until, hopefully, we see, like, a good drop. Yes, there it is. Staff of the Dead is one of the first things we uh, wanted from here. That's gonna be very easy points right here. Let me quickly click this so I don't die. We click it. It's 200, I think. That's a big one. A very rare drop, by the way. We're up to 57,720 right now. But now the unfortunate reality is I need to stay here for a very long time to find a Zami blade or Zami Godsword thingy. Uh, that's like the rarest drop, so I guess we can be here for a very long time. Very next kill, I believe. We got another Zami spear. Ah, that's another Zami spear on KC171. Hey, there is a steam battle staff on KC192. Hey, we got another spear here on 206. A little steam battle staff. We have a little battle between Zami spear and steam battle staffs at the moment. Currently, Zami spear is leading 7 to 6. Back even. 7 Zami spears, 7 steam battle staffs. Ooh, that's the same drop rate chance. We got another staff of the dead, number 2. This is uh, the drop chance that shares it with our Zami hilt, which is what we need. So, let's just go right back, I guess. Nah, you're trolling. Three Staff of the Deads. Oi, oi, oi. Alright, well, we're 230 deep. Might as well keep going, right? Another Steam Battle Staff. I actually did like an hour or two of AFK before coming back. We're up to 37 million woodcutting XP. But now we're back and hopefully we can get the hilt. Oh, that's another Steam Battle Staff. KC251. Ooh. Oh, well, a little death. No problem. Uh, God Search R2, that's rarer than the hilt. Uh, by about 200 KC, so a bit unlucky there, but we'll take it. I uh, Zami Spear in the very next kill. Wait, that was the fastest kill I've ever done, I think. What was that? Six seconds. Six second kill. Yo, give me a replay on that. Uh, for a Zami Spear as well, we even get an item out of it. Dude, I'm pulling so many spears. Can I just get the hilt and get out of your 270 KC right now? Still going strong. Kills are fast. <laughs> Another Zami spear, man, please. 282 KC. Another steam battle staff. We're done. We are done. I got the Zamorak hilt. Let's go. Nice. 305 KC. Beautiful. 
we have now obtained every single drop from Zami. So now we have Zami fully completed, Bandos fully completed, Ziliana fully completed. We're only missing an AGS from Kriara and I'm in the mood. I'm gonna go back right now. I mean, I have the Arma chain skirts on me, so I'll literally just go straight to Arma and hopefully land on an AGS. But before we do that, let's grab our uh, BGS for now. Use the hilt on the blade and wield it. I will have to wield all of the God Swords, so I'm just making this so I don't forget and put this back on my hilt of bandos beautiful this is so good i was uh starting to wonder with a triple staff of the dead drop there uh, but yeah now i'm really excited to completely finish this back at kriara let's take a look at how long this takes we're starting on 189 kc kill count 194 and here it starts first armadil chain skirt all right well let's see how many of those we'll get Ooh, that's rarer than what we're going after. That's a Godsword Shard 3. We'll take it. <laughs> Very next skill, Godsword Shard 2. This is some crazy luck, actually. Alright, I was wondering when this was going to happen. So if I view my forestry kit, I now have 10,000 anima infused bark. Which, uh, if you're wondering how long this takes, let's just say it takes long, alright? I'm currently on almost 40 million woodcutting XP. Uh, so I guess if you don't have the harvester, you need about 20 mil XP. Most of it was done in a forestry world. But if we go to Draenor right now, I should be able to... I mean, I don't really know even how it works, I'm gonna be honest. I wanna see if I can make an Infernal Axe. So if I grab my infernal axe here, and I'm just gonna bang this one, not to make the wrong one. I wonder if I can make infernal two-handed axe, if that makes sense. So if I go into the shop, there's like a bunch of things. There's another thing we could get afterwards. But this right here, feline axe, I also need 500 oak logs noted, which I did not know. So let's get 500 oak logs real quick. 10,000 anima, I do believe I have 500 oak logs. I want to do it to my infernal axe, but I'm going to assume you can't. That would be like ideal. Yeah, it doesn't let it happen. So, oh wait, I probably need like a hammer as well. And I think I need to go to an anvil. Let me just attempt this to this. Okay, let's go to an anvil. All right, let's try it one more time. First, I tried Infernal Axe. Doesn't work. Then I tried Dragon Axe. And we are now converting it into a two-handed axe, basically. Okay, if I wield this... This was the longest 80-point task I ever had to do. Now, if you do not know what this does, it basically increases my XP an hour and sometimes it can consume a log. Now, I don't really care about that because all my logs go directly to the bank, so maybe it's not even the best thing that I'm using it, but I mean, it was a pointer task after all. Now, I also need to make rations for this thing to work, and the way I make rations is if I go into my forestry kit, I believe I have all these leaves, I can grab out the leaves, so let's say, I don't know, I grab 50 leaves out, and I just need to add fish to this, and that's basically what happens. So let's say I'm just gonna add one Karamb one to test it out, and it makes 24 rations, so I think I'll do this for a bit. Oh my god, we're done. We got an Armadil Hilt. There is absolutely no way. 208kc on Arma, about two times over the drop rate. And we basically finished God Wars. So I think I can obviously equip all of them, but then I can just return to Zami and finish 500kc because I think that's a task as well. Okay, let's see if this will work. If I dismantle this, put this on that, wield it. That is 400. That's a huge task. That's gonna put us to 58,200 points. And I do believe I'm just going to return to Zami. The kills were extremely fast there. And we're going to finish 500 KC. And we're basically completely finished with all of the God Wars after that. There is a 400 pointer though for doing all the combat achievements. But I don't know if I'm good enough to do this right now. Ah, uh, this seems a bit annoying. Especially like this. Kill the General Grader in privately rented instance without taking any damage from the boss or bodyguards. And do that twice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna maybe think about doing that later. With us equipping that uh, Godsword earlier, we are now ranked 367 on the leaderboards. And after I finish 500 of this KC, we'll keep taking a look at the leaderboard and see if we can keep climbing the league ranks. I wonder how many of these we'll see throughout the 500 KC, but there is another Zemi Spear on KC 317, another one on KC 323. 
Here's another Zami Spear, KC329. And here is Staff of the Dead number 4. Damn it. I mean, I don't really care about drops, but 332 KC. That is pretty rare. Never realized how many drops you actually get from Zami on leagues. Here's 334, another Zami Spear. Spear, another Staff, 352, another Spear. Spear on 367. Well, we just pulled the Zamorak Hilt dupe. Pretty cool. We are 390kc, 110 to go. A little staff. Staff on 404. Spear, 75 kills to go. Another staff, less than 70 to go. Another staff. Another spear. Another spear. I have never seen this many items drop back to back. Like, I don't know. I think I have like almost 20 spears at this point. Anyways, 40 left to go. We got another Staff of the Dead. By the way, the good part about Staff of the Dead is I can actually alk them for 600k. When it comes to Staffs, they're basically useless. They alk for, what, 10k? And Spears alk for 60k. So Staff of the Deads are probably the best dupe we can get. Another Spear, 30 to go. Here's another Staff of the Dead. I actually have a lot of these, so lots of money to be had. If we get 25 mil, we get a bunch of points from construction. If we get 200 mil, we get a bunch of points from construction. Or is it 100 mil for the gold sink? Either way, I need to make a lot of money, so all of these drops are actually adding up. KC481. We ended up pulling another Zemi Spear. We got a Godsword Shard 2 on the very next skill. Pretty rare there as well. We get a little Godsword Shard 3 and we are 6 kills away. I can see the end of the tunnel. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Okay, and here we go. That should be KC500. We pulled a lot of drops. I did all of that for 200 points. Was it worth it? Eh, I'm not sure, but uh, we'll take it. And we are now fully completed with God Wars. Obviously not with Nex yet, but God Wars is fully done. Now, I do want to check how many drops we actually have. So let's take a look. All right, so first of all, I managed to complete only two full God Swords. Outside of that, I got uh, three God Sword Shard 3s and seven God Sword Shard 2s. We're missing a lot of God Sword Shard 1s. Obviously, we have um, all the hills still available. Looking at Commander Ziliana, we needed 302 kills to finish Zili. This was the most unlucky one because we got ACB on the very end. We needed only 104 kills to finish General Grador. Got all the drops. Very lucky there. I needed 208 kills to finish Kriara. Not too bad at all. About double the drop rate for an Armadil Hilt, but still very lucky. And then obviously we pushed Krill Tsutsara all the way to 500 because he is the fastest boss to kill. And as you can see, he dropped us 6 Staff of the Deads, which is basically 3.6 million there. 24 Zamorak Spears, 15 Steam Battle Staffs, 2 Zamorak Hilts. Whenever in doubt, we can always return back to regular Slayer. I'm hunting superior creatures, I'm hunting Slayer task completions, and there's extra points to get all the way to 50 million Slayer XP. So let's start off with Jellies. Okay, I should be pretty close to a 50 superior task. I guess not quite yet, but there's a first superior Jelly for nothing. I still need Eternal Gem as well. There's a lot of points. I still got logged behind Slayer. Back to back superior situation. Let's see what do we get. There it is, that's the big 50 superior slayers for 200 points. There's more for, I think, 100 superiors, but it's a much less points for that one. And we would now be above 300 in rank if we were to refresh, which is actually pretty surprising. I didn't think 58,600 is like that high of points, if that makes sense. But I do believe most people, after they reach Dragon Tier, they probably quit. That's why we jumped so many, like, leaderboard ranks. I'll take it. I'm gonna keep slaying for now. I do wanna get 25 mil. I wanna do uh, get Eternal Gem and stuff like that. Blue Dragons is a bit of a short task, but a perfect task regardless. I'm just gonna go back to Vorkaf, farm it. We need both of the Visages. Dragonfire Ward would be best in slot probably for me. So let's see if we can get lucky. It's only 53, but I mean, before I'm 50 million Slayer, I might as well do these tasks as I get them. But whilst we're at it, and whilst we want to do some Vorkaf, I might as well finish all of my combat achievement diaries. In 6 kills, I'm gonna finish 100 KC, which is gonna be the task. I need to do a melee kill, and I need to do a fist only kill. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem too much with my banker's note, so let's go ahead and green log the Vorkaf combat achievements. Wait. 
That was probably smart, even though I did it unintentionally. I, if that ruins the kill, that would be rough. But if I can just die every three minutes, this might actually be something that speeds up this by a lot. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's back. If this doesn't work, I'm wasting so much of my time. Okay, just tank it like a man. Okay, one more. Okay, we tried. If this doesn't work, this task would literally take me half an hour to complete. I guess I just... Either I don't have good enough gear or I'm doing something wrong. Let's see. Please tell me this will work. If this doesn't work, I'm sad. I think I did it. Yep, it worked. Oh man, shout out to my Undying Relic. I died four times. And it basically worked. Now all I need is 100 KC and I even got the melee one as well, by the way. Stick him with a pointy end and the Fremenic way. So if we quickly take a look at my combat tasks right now. Beautiful. Vorkath is going to be green logged in five kills. Nice. That's amazing. And there it is. 200 points for just completing Vorkat combat achievements. And that's 100 kill count as well. Very good. I am trying to figure out what I even want to pick up from this but maybe I want to give prayer a bit of a shot because if I don't need to pick up all of these dragon bones it would be I feel like a lot easier to like manage everything if that makes sense so I'm gonna see how much experience I have banked in prayer I could always just do pest control as well that's also amazing prayer method uh, but I just want to see how much XP per hour can I get from superior bones that I already have and all the dragon of bones that I have in my bank as well <laughs> Oh yeah, the XP here is gonna be decent, fellas. And I have a lot of bones, so let's see if I can get maybe to 25 mil mark, something like that before I continue. Oof, dude, am I really gonna... I wanna see how high this goes. 25 mil an hour. 42 million an hour. Wait, we can get to 45, surely. Okay, looks like we stabilize at about 42 mil... 43, hold up, we're going up. Yeah, superior bones are crazy for prayer XP, not even gonna lie. Looks like 45 miller is doable if you have uh, hands. We'll try all the different bones, but uh, looking at these XP drops, it seems like Dragon Bones Plus is all gonna be worth uh, using myself manually. Okay, let's take a look. Dragon Bones are half of the XP, but that should still be, what, 23 mil an hour? Yeah, looks like Dragon Bones average on like 22 mil an hour. And Dagenav Bones, obviously, right in the middle, 30-something mil an hour, probably 35, I misclick a lot. So yeah, I think with all the DKs, with all the blue dregs, I'll probably be picking up all the bones, because, uh, yeah, it's just a fast way to get to 50 mil XP, I guess. My next AFK activity, when I'm not woodcutting, is now mining, and it's mainly stars at the moment. I am trying to get everything I need from stars. I think one is to have this celestial uh, ring. And then I think this is for the gear afterwards, right? Fragments of a long dead star, you can use it to recall a prospector. So I'm going to be needing four of those, I believe, and then one of these. Let's just start off by using this and wearing it. Uh, purchase a celestial ring that's apparently just already straight up a task. And uh, yeah, now I just need, I think, 12,000 stardust in order to finish a full golden prospector. So that's going to be the next AFK goal to look towards. Ladies, gentlemen, a lot of mining later. We're up to 19.7 million mining XP. And I think I've done stars since 99 mining. But I do believe I now have enough stardust in order to complete all of this that I wanted to do. So we buy one of those. And let me just see how this works. So this is a collection log pop-up. And I can use this on this. Combining a star fragment with a piece of prospector equipment will recover that piece gold. If the star fragment will be destroyed, the process will be irreversible. Let's go ahead and do that. So that's now a golden prospector helmet. That's 80 points. And how about we go ahead and we buy one, two, and three. And we now go ahead and use one on the body. Wear it. One on the boots. Wear it. And one on the legs. Wear it. And that's going to be 200 points. On top of that, we now have full golden prospector. I think for the rest of my mining XP, it's just going to be full on AFK in essence mine. It's like 300k an hour and I never need to move. I never need to touch anything. We've fully completed stars. With all of that out of the way, we're now up to rank 355. I mean, this in general is pretty slow points. It takes a lot of time to do, so I could do some faster tasks right now.
I am back in the Giants Foundry, but not to actually play the game properly, but I saw Dither's video, I saw Solo Mission's video, I'm just gonna make 100 shit swords in order to get 160 points for free basically. So we're just gonna grab commissions, I already have all of the rewards from here, we're just gonna still grab the best stuff, all the best stuff, set the mold, and now instead of actually using the good quality bars, we're just gonna grab all of our iron ore, which I have infinite amount of, and we're just gonna throw all of this basically away. Now I could also be buying like bronze bars, bronze plate bodies, you name it, whatever. Oh, do they need to be bars? Oh shit, <laughs> wait, wait. Um, okay, I have some bronze bars, we're fine. I'm gonna go buy some uh, bronze plate bodies probably. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering, you just grab a sword and then you just intentionally mess it up. So you see my quality is going to zero and then you hand it in and it counts. This is us handing in 50 swords, halfway there, let's do 50 more. Alright, nice little relaxing, less than an hour and this should be 80 points, very cool. Uh, never need to do Giant's Foundry ever again and uh, I will be finishing 50 mil smithing from Blast Furnace which is a million times faster and then I'll be turning the bars that I make from Blast Furnace into darts and then I'll be training my fletching up to 50 million that way. That's what I'm thinking at least at the moment. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got a little pur. Do we? Do okay. It is purple. Is it mine? It is mine. Okay, okay, okay. I want a Fang. Fang is six hundred points for me right now. Mazori chaps are, I think, four hundred points, and the shield is like two hundred points. So as long as it's unique, it's point central right now. Let's take a look. <gasps> That's huge. That's the best item we could get. Massive improvement from the whip. Oh, that is huge for us. First. We wield the Osmotan's Fang, that's gonna be points, and then we put a kit on it and wield it again for even more points. That's literally the best thing we could have gotten. That is amazing. Alright, so here we go, we now have a Cursed Phalanx, and if I attach this to the Osmotan's Fang, and we wield this thing, that is now on top of the 200 points, an extra 400 points putting us basically at 60,000 points. And I'm gonna do a strategic logout login right now, because if I were to take a quick look at the high scores, right now I think we'd be pretty decent. So let me take a look, a little refresh. We are currently rank 306. So with that task, I pretty much jumped, what, like 60 ranks or so? That is huge. Goodbye, whip. Welcome, Osmotan's fan. My very next goal is going to be to get exactly 25 million coins because with that I can build a demonic throne and the process of getting that is gonna be simply alking all of my stuff of undeads, all of my light bearers, zami rings, uh, bludgeon pieces, stuff like that. Just gonna alk basically majority of my bank and see how far I am to having 25 mil. Uh, that's gonna be a 400 point task and I uh, this is one of the last things I think I want to achieve in this episode because that's also gonna increase our rank by a lot. So Staff of the Dead's gone. I don't know if I have enough, I'm gonna be honest. I'm also uh, alking all my dupe uniques. I'm leaving one of everything in my house uh, but alking absolutely everything else. I'm trying to find alternate ways to make money and I have about 50,000 karam ones that I've just AFK fished and I think I can sell this. I don't know if it's smart that I'm selling 50 at a time, but I have so many that yeah, this is gonna be quite a lot of clicking. The shop buys it for 90, so 10 would be 900. Yeah, we're gonna make okay money with this and I can always go and AFK more karam ones. I still haven't received any skilling pets, that's also 200 points, but I already have 50 million cooking XP, so there really is no reason for me to hold on to this. And yeah, this shop buys this for the most price. I don't know if I'll be able to get 25 million with what I have, not gonna lie. I'm gonna attempt it though. I have just finished alking all or most of my alkables and we're left with 14.9 mil. So basically 15 mil. I'm nowhere close to 25 million goal I had in mind. However, I will be doing a lot of work at in the future episodes and the money should start to flow in so I can do both the gold sink task and the demonic throne task, which is basically 600 points for free that I could get. All I need is 125 million, so I guess it's not that free. Uh, but that's gonna be the goal for another video. I'm very happy with the progress that I made in this episode. I'm now on the leaderboards in the top 300 department, and I will keep grinding, and I think my goal for this league is to obviously complete the account, finish full beast everything, uh, so basically Mazori chaps, finish full 
Raul Torva on the next. That's also a bunch of points there. And I'm most likely going to go for 50 million alls. Outside of that, I'll probably finish most of the clue scrolls. And about at that point, I think I will retire the account. Uh, I mean, we've reached everything I set out to reach, aside from the full beast and whatnot. So there's definitely a couple of videos more coming from this account from the leagues. But I saw the comments in the last video. There is a decently high chance I give another leagues account a shot. We'll see how I am with my time. But uh, that being said, a little ramble in the end. I do appreciate everybody for staying with me till the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'll be back very soon with another video. And until then, uh, I wish you all the best and I'll see you around. Have a good one and bye bye.